Hey everyone, I am back and I'm joined by my dear friend and AG band leader, Fred Armiston. Hi Fred, how are you buddy? How's it going? I'm doing great and this is so nice of you to do this because a lot of people know you to be a renaissance man. You're an actor, you're a writer, a musician, but one thing people don't know about you is that you are a art connoisseur. I like that word and it's, it's, uh, it's correct, yeah. And you were telling me that you have an art historian's knowledge of every painting ever painted. And we were thinking since it's very hard, obviously, right now for people to do things like go to a museum, uh, we would maybe take advantage of your uh, great knowledge right now in a segment we call Fred Armisen, Art Aficionado. All right, so Fred, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to text you a painting right now, and okay. you're going to look at it, and you're going to tell me everything you know about that painting. Okay. okay. Sent. Oh, yes. You this do. Is, so um, you know this painting. Of course I know this painting. The, the person was an entertainer. This uh, person who wanted his painting done. So uh, uh, the, uh, the artist was just like, okay, well, what is it that you do to entertain? And the artist and the person who wanted his painting done, because he wanted it done in a hurry, was like, well, I'm a juggler. Oh. And um, he's like, well, how am I supposed to do that? How, how do you want me to show that you're juggling? And he's like, why don't we, let's do this. Let's do what I'm juggling first, right? Like, let's put I the apples in the air and then we'll put in my arms later because I can't do it while um, I'm having this done. Um, so he did, he did the one apple, right? Because that's what he was juggling. And then the guy who wanted his painting done, couldn't uh, pay for it, right? Like he didn't do, uh, he, he like- he, Wait, you know, Fred, I'm gonna stop you real quick. The painter uh, uh, was the juggler or the man being painted was the juggler? The man being painted was the juggler. Got it. So um, he sort of like did one apple in the air and then he's like, I don't have the rest to like be able to pay you for doing this painting. I really appreciate it. By the way, you are so talented. You're just such a brilliant painter. I just want to say, and he's like, I don't want to hear the niceties of like why I'm great. Just, can you just, I need to be paid for what I do. This is like my only job. I don't go from painting, you know. Was this uh, a situation, and again, sorry to interrupt. Was this a situation where the apple was painted and then the painter said, hey, I'm just checking. You have money for this, right? Because it seems strange that he would start the painting, stop after one apple, and then check on the finances. This is just the times. You know, back then, they didn't have the internet. They didn't have these like telephones and ways of communicating. So all they could do was like little by little say, hey, do you have the money to pay me for this painting? And he's like, I don't right now. Why don't I have this money? Is because I haven't had any gigs juggling. juggling so it. I'm asking you to pay me. Right, so he's like, was I need some more juggling gigs. Was this painting to serve as like a promotional piece for his, uh, for his juggling work? Uh, one thing you have to remember about art is that it was all promotional pieces. This is all, it was all what we call advertising now. So that's why he needed it done. He's like, well, how, what was, uh, kids, what like, was the Mona Lisa uh, advertising? Uh, shawls. There was like, so she's wearing this sort of shawl and she was, so that was just to get the word out there, which is why she was expressionless. Because for a while she was like grinning from ear to ear and you know, she was just told, like, can you please just keep it still, keep it calm. The shawls. This is about the shawls. We have here that this uh, painting is called Son of Man by uh, Rene Magritte, and it was painted in 1964. Does that all track with you? Except for the phone calls part. I think they were, I don't know why it was explained to me that, uh, my, my, <laughs> I'm sorry, that my professor told me that they weren't calling each other enough. But uh, this is uh, interesting that you're going to sort of, uh, I hope you don't mind me putting it this way, throw your professor sort of uh, uh, under the bus here. Oh, my professor is long dead. Long, <laughs> long, long dead. What was your professor's name? David McClellan. And where did you study art? Uh, I, I studied at this marine biology university that in, it's so, it's just that they had an art department there. Um, and this was like in the vicinity of Orlando. And it's, uh, uh, we learned, a, it, it's a long story, but like we had to learn about art to learn about how marine biology worked. It, that's okay, separate. That's, that's totally separate. Maybe we'll save that for next time. Uh, once again, give it up for Fred Armisen, art aficionado. Mm -hmm.